Welcome back to In the Garden. Today we are going to be talking about some of those fall veggies that we can plant in our gardens. And right now joining me today is Brandon from Grange Co-op. So Brandon, just a little bit about these veggies and why they excel in the fall time. Yeah, absolutely. So most people think about uh, planting your veggie garden in the spring and summer, yeah. but there's so much that you can do in fall time as well. You have some spinach down here. We got spinach, bok choy, bok choy yeah. uh, Swiss chard, broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, uh, onions, a, garlic. That's a good amount that grows yeah, in the fall time. Yeah, there's going to be I, a lot of cooler I they weather grew in veggies. the spring as well. <laughs> yeah, so well, it is true. A lot of people will start these in the early season, but you'll notice once it gets warm out, these tend to bolt really fast okay. and go to seed. So getting them in again in the fall, you can get another production out of them as well, which is really neat. Awesome. And then specifically when you're planting, I don't know if you wanted to, let's just talk about like the spinach and kale, um, I guess water needs, what, what, how much water do, the, do uh, those typically need? Yeah, so again, in the fall time, the weather is so variable. My recommendation is to go down there, grab your soil, uh, get into your garden with your hands and see what that what that soil moisture is like, you know, two to four, six inches deep. Okay. Uh, and really see what your garden's looking at. Your plants will tell you as well. If you are overwatering, your plants are going to be limp and falling over, probably a little chlorotic or yellow looking. Uh, your soil is going to be crunchy. You're going to definitely be able to tell when your plants are not getting enough water. And then when you say to check the soil, that means you, you kind of scoop that soil up and you want to squeeze it to check that water level? Yeah, so if okay. you get down four or six inches deep and you grab a handful of soil and you okay. squeeze it, if you've got water dripping out of your hand, that soil is too wet. Uh, if you open up your hand and that soil crumbles away, it is too dry. Awesome. And then I know we have some products right here. Are these two... Uh, what are we using these for to keep uh, pests away? Are we using them to help with that nutrition for our plants? A what, little what bit of both here. here, yeah. So the GMB Organics fertilizer is going to be an excellent fertilizer for your gardens. Being that it is organic, you're not going to have any kind of synthetics uh, up in the vegetables. Keeping the organics in your garden is going to be the, the best for you uh, and you'll see great results with the GMB fertilizers. Uh, the Slogo Plus is another organic material. Uh, or another organic product, uh, it is OMRI approved. Uh, it is going to help keep the slugs and snails, earwigs, sow bugs, pill bugs, all of that out of your garden. A little bit goes a long ways with that too. You just kind of salt and pepper over the soil. And believe it or not, that little canister right there will cover 2,000 square feet. Awesome. Well, thank you, Brandon, for sharing about the fall veggies. Obviously, we both talked about, I thought they were growing, a lot of them were growing in the springtime, but we have some that excel during the fall. So if you want have any more questions, you can head over to a Grange Co-op near you to ask about some of these fall veggie selections or anything else you want to plant in your garden. Talk to an expert like Brandon or head to our website, kdrv.com.